Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming with the Purpose. In this video, I am going to discuss about the Control Center API that is introduced in as 18. So this will help us to create different type of dynamic controls and add them to Control Center. So I'm going to show you two type of controls, a toggle control and a button control. This feature is introduced in iOS 18 as I already told you and uh, widget kit was introduced in iOS 14. So it is pretty close to the implementation of widget kit with some slight changes that I'm going to show you here. So uh, we have two type of controls here. I am incrementing the number of glasses of water that I have taken in a day. So this is how you can add different type of controls. So now let's start with the coding. So first let's create a simple app with any name you want to give it. I am adding here a Explore Control Center app. So after that, we are going to add another target to it. This is one of the target that is added to it. You can see on the right hand side, there are only one target here inside your Xcode. So here I'll be searching about widget kit and I'm going to give it a product name. So I'm giving here a flash control. It is not actually controlling the flashlight of my device, but just showing you how to create a control. So here uh, there are two type of controls. There is some dummy code that is added previously. You can basically comment out that code and start writing your own code. I'm going to edit the code inside the file flash control control. So this is a code that we are going to edit. You have seen here, there is a kind string which is going to help you to access this uh, target. So you can add here a bundle identifier dot your extension, which is flash control. So first create another class that is going to help us to store all of this data inside this flash control target. So I have created a class with the name of control manager and then created a static variable of shared which is going to contain this object of control manager so that we will not be accidentally creating multiple instances of this class so first we are going to add a kind and then i am removing the value in here because i have removed the provider we do not need it at the moment for our toggle control so is on is basically the value where we need to set that where it is going to fetch this value from so when the flashlight is on this will be handled inside our control manager class so i have changed the intent name and here i am editing the localized string resources all of these information will help us to basically understand what this control is for when we are searching for this control inside control center so here in the perform function is going to handle the actual code so in control manager i am going to set is running to true or to a value that is passed here we need to set it to the value so that we can, can turn it on and off here so flash control intent is then passed as an action to control widget toggle and here i'm adding a system name the system image go to sf symbols and set whatever symbol you want to set for this specific control center control so i am setting here the flashlight on dot fill so this is how it's going to set there is an action there is an is on button which is going to set the state of the toggle and then there is a value label so i have changed the text to turn on flashlight now go to the control center and at the plus button on the top you can basically maximize or minimize it according to your needs and when you are going to click it you are going to see that the text is changing to on and off but this text is not changing so we are going to add this on and off text there as well we are going to change is running from the control manager variable of is running okay and you can also change the system image here as well according to your needs so I'm changing here the display name and description as well according to our requirements of flashlight and adding a tint color here which is going to basically pick up this color whenever we are turning it on. So again follow the same steps to add the control inside the control center. So when you are clicking it you have seen that flashlight is turning green. So our control is working fine. Next we are going to make a little bit of change inside the text. 
that is written on line number 20 according to your needs so basically if it is on we need to basically change the text to off so that we can turn it off and same depends on the system image that how you want to set if you want to show the state then the image will correspond to is running state otherwise it will be the opposite of is running so depending upon your needs you can simply add the image the text as well as the label state so this is all the information we need to provide to the user when we are handling a toggle button inside our control widget so our toggle is done next we are going to move to control widget button and i'm going to show you how we are going to add that So let's record our water intake in a day with a variable inside our control manager and then we are going to basically create the button and add it with that variable so that whenever we are going to click on the button another glass of water is added to our water intake for a day so here i am showing you how we can add a control widget button here so in the action we are going to write another intent and in the label that is going to return us some view so we are going to create a view we are going to set a text as well as an image for our control widget button so follow all of these steps to create a control widget button with me you have seen here that i have commented all of the code except the static control configuration which is specifying the kind so here I'm adding a text that is fetching the value from control manager, glasses of water variable. And then an image, which I'm going to fetch from SF symbols. So let's find an appropriate image according to our needs. To remove the error temporarily, I'm adding here a flash control intent in the action, which we are going to change once we write the specific intent for our water intake record. So here I'm specifying the image. And then I'm adding a tint here. Tint is not workable for this button, so there is no need to add it here. I've tried it with different type of codes, but it's not working for now. So next I'm going to create another struct, which is going to record our water intake. It is an intent, which is extending our app intent. All of the rest of the values would be same apart from some init methods and the variable value that we are going to change to count, which is going to record the number of glasses that we have taken so far in a day. So the glasses of water will be recorded inside control manager and count is going to basically help us to add that. Uh, here count is set to one. You can initialize it to one here as well, but there would be certain cases where you need to pass the parameter value. So I'm showing you here that how you're going to pass a parameter value of one every time we click on this control widget button. So when we are playing the code, you have seen here that no image is being shown. So there is some error. Let's see what we have done wrong here. So we need to pass here the system name because it is trying to find that image from our assets, which is not there, obviously. So this is how our control widget button is going to look like. So we have one glasses of water when we are going to click another. So three glasses of water up till this point. So this is how it's going to be incremented. So now I'm stopping the code and I am going to change the image to something else when we are done with the number of glasses that are required for a day. For example, if the number of glasses are greater than five, we need to change the system name image. It is a simple inline if else you can add here. So when I am going to play the code, you are going to see here, then when we are going to exceed five or glasses greater than five, the image is going to conveniently change to our glass dot fill with a slight animation that is automatic inside this control widget button. 
so you can add here a debug point as well and you can basically debug the number of glasses or any other value variable inside your debugger on the bottom side of your console so basically you can stop here and you can print object here values here and you can simply debug this is uh, to show you how you can easily debug your control as well inside the control center so this is all do not forget to like and share this video subscribe to my channel i'm going to add further videos to the new updates that are added in ios 18 and xcode 16 stay tuned thanks for watching